The tiny thing costs around $7 and could be one of the best upgrades for your scooter. It's called what matter, this one is in super tiny size, as you can tell. Can handle up to 120 volts and 10 amps, which is quite insane score compared to size. So, when you are charging your scooter, you can follow on the tiny screen what is the actual voltage of the battery, how fast you are charging the battery, you will see amps and watts. And now this thing is starting to be super useful because you can follow on the screen how many milliamps or what hours you pump into the battery. So you will know what is the true capacity of the battery in your scooter. But it's getting better. If you will use this huge wattmeter into your scooter, you will know exactly how much juice left when you are using your beast. So, this one is a little bit bigger, it's super easy to connect, as you can see. Also, you've got this shout which you have installed inside your scooter. Here you've got some bigger manuals. And how to install this thing in your scooter? Actually, it's pretty easy, because this thing you can install on the string bar. I made that kind of project, you can just print it, it's free for my Patreons. Just push it inside and it's done. Looks actually pretty nice, I did this mod in my Yanobike T85, links in the description for the video and for the project. Just check the sounds, it looks insane on the screen. Shit! It was worth it bros, it was worth it. But let's back to this tiny thing. So, true story is that every single time when you are charging your scooter, your battery is losing capacity. So, let's say that if you've got Lauti ES18 or T85, then true capacity is around 32 amps, which is quite insane score compared to price, because holy shit, $1,100 and that capacity on big scooter, nice. So, after let's say 6 months, I think that the capacity will drop to around 31 or 30 amps, after 1 year it will be like maybe 28 amps, and after 2 years, it could be like even 25 amps. So this thing can be super useful because you will see what is the true capacity of your battery after some usage. So more or less you will back to home every time. Also, you can print this tiny cover, this box for this watt meter. Just push it in and it's done. Actually, it's not done because we have to install the cables. So now it's a little bit funny or tricky, because those two pins are voltage input and those two voltage output. I have to check manuals which one, which are which. Looks like connectors on the left are for red wire, so plus, and on the right we've got connectors for the ground, so for the black cable. Front connectors you have to connect to your charger, and rear one you have to connect to your scooter, so it will be power voltage output. And looks like it's done. So here you got the wires which are going through the holes in this tiny shell. And now you can ask why I'm using XT30 connectors. So this one's why on the scooters we've got this microphone port. Because this thing is dangerous. As you can see, there is nothing which can prevent from short circuit between those pins. So those Connectors are super dangerous. I have no idea why Chinese are using it, honestly. In this tiny thing, there is like no way you will get some short circuit, like honestly. I'm quite sure that even if you put this connector into the water, when the voltage is like 60 volts, there will be no short circuit because the gap between the pins is too big. One day we will do, we'll do that kind of test. If you never saw my adapter, then this is how it looks. You have to remove old microphone port and just place this new adapter inside the hole and screw it on the back. Actually, you can find manuals how to install this adapter on my website, all links in the description. And now I release for free for my Patreons these nice covers. Just check how it looks. It's actually pretty hard to put it in, but this is good because it will not pop out. And here we got some devil. You have to admit it looks sick, isn't it? Check this one out, of course. I use rubber filament, super flexible, and you, you will no way that you will just damage it. Check this one out. This is quality of my prints. Holy shit, it's really survive. Nice. So, this is Devil One, and also I've got my tiny pirate. And let's put it in. 
this one also looks quite nice, isn't it? Didn't clean it. You've got some hairs. Yeah, it looks super nice. So if you don't have printer, then you can PM me and I can print anything what you like. As you can see, my print quality is super decent actually. You cannot say nothing but. Now we have to slowly push out the cables and push in the matter. Do it slow, take your time, don't rip off the cables. And looks like it's done. Nice. So this tiny box is pretty awesome. I had to add lots of vents because if you will use charger with output power over 5 amps and this thing is getting pretty hot. So yeah, that's why we've got so many vents. And now let's test it. If you are looking for a good powerful charger for your scooter like Boyda ES18 or T85 then I have to admit that this thing is quite nice because I spent on this thing only $21 and after one year it's still working perfectly fine. So this one is 67 volts, 5 amps. It works perfect with Lauti, Yanobike or Boyda. And as you can see, I've got my XT30 charging port. If you will connect what matter at first to charging port in your scooter, then you will see what is the voltage of the battery. 59.8 volts. Now let's connect the charger. We've got two red lights. It's working. And now we are charging my ES18 with power 5 amps, which is around 300 watts. Not bad score for charger, which costs only $21 on the right side we can see how many amps we pump into the battery or how many watt hours over here we can see for how long we are charging our scooter this watt meter got small issue i think like everything from china it's showing a little bit wrong values as you can see now it shows that we pump into the battery 470 milliamps actually it's not correct we have to move this small dot one time to the left so we pump to the battery now around 60 milliamps not 600 milliamps the same about watt hours we didn't pump inside 4 watt hours but 0 0.4 this is small issue i think you can just prepare your mind and always move this one dot to the left because this small watt meter is super easy to use we have just to connect two cables on the input and two cables on the output also, we don't have to use any step down converter. So this one is super easy to use. It's kind of powerful compared to size and cheap. So if you have any question, bros, just leave it in the comment section. I'll back to you and try to help. All links in the description. See you in next one. Dat is vier. Dat is vier. Dat is het stappig door.